This image was found on the shores of Manila on May 19, 1571 by a Spanish Navy private who was part of the Legazpi expedition. Its origin no one seems to know, but its close resemblance to the Santo Nino of Cebu has made everyone believe that it must have been brought to the Philippines in 1521 by Magellan's own ships, and later was sent by the, by the Cebu native chiefs as a gift to one of the many Rajas of Manila. The lucky yet anonymous soldier found the image of the Virgin Mary on top of a pandan bush surrounded by natives who adored it in a pagan fashion. As soon as his commander's attention was called to the discovery, there was great celebration and rejoicing. From that day, says the Annales de la Catedral de Manila, the Virgen de Guia began to shed the rays of her charity in ever so many miracles, which she wrought on behalf of the people at large and especially on behalf of the navigators. For this reason, she was given the title of Guia, or guide, and was declared the patroness of the galleons of Castile. In a royal decree dated August 9, 1758, the King of Spain declared Nuestra Señora de Guia as the sworn patroness of the city by reason of the continual favors that she has lavished on it. The first church where the well-loved patroness was enshrined was of bamboo and nipa with posts of Molave and Palambrava. Later, when the Chinese pirates stopped assaulting the shores of Manila and during the Spanish colonies' time to construct something more permanent, a church of stone was built. The church was demolished several times because of earthquakes and other catastrophes, the last of which was in 1945 when it was bombed out. In this latest catastrophe, the famous statue was saved by the Ermita Parish priest, Father Blas de Guernica, and Mrs. Justo Lopez, who secretly buried the statue in one of the niches of the crypt at the back of the main altar few weeks before the liberation. On the days of the liberation of the district of Ermita in February 1945, while the Japanese snipers were still shooting from every side, Reverend Father Rogelio Bedonia, with a chaplain and four soldiers of the American Army, went to the ruins of what had been the Church of Ermita, dug up the sacred image of Our Lady from the debris of the crypt, and brought it to a safer place. Since then, until the construction of the temporary chapel, the sacred image stayed in a private house on Taft Avenue in San Miguel de Mayumo, and finally in Quiapo Church. At the first Mass celebrated by His Holiness Pope Paul VI in the Philippines, on November 27, 1970 at the Manila Cathedral, the image of Nuestra Señora de Guia was prominently enthroned. At the end of the Mass, His Holiness blessed and kissed the hands of the image. On May 16, 1971, his Eminence Rufino J. Cardinal Santos had concelebrated Mass with other prelates and priests at the Independence Grandstand Manila, during which he also placed on the Virgin a crown donated by His Holiness Pope Paul VI. Father Patrick Payton of the International Family Rosary Crusade delivered the homily. The image was canonically crowned on December 30, 1955, by Archbishop Egidio Vanyosi, who was at that time Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines. The commemorative event was preceded by Novena Masses and devotions held at the Ermita Church and officiated by different bishops. The Virgin is now permanently enshrined in the parish of Nuestra Señora de Guia. On December 3, 2005, it was canonically recognized by His Excellency Gaudencio B. Rosales, Archbishop of Manila, as an Archdiocesan Shrine. Please all stand.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of heaven and earth, for in your mercy and justice you cast down the mighty and exalt the lowly. Your marvelous wisdom is shown above all in the Word made flesh and in his virgin mother. For he, your Son, who freely humbled himself even unto death on the cross, now sits at your right hand and is radiant with unending glory, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And she, the virgin, who wished to be called your servant, was singled out to be mother of the Redeemer and true mother of all the living. Now she is exalted above the choirs of angels and reigns in glory with her son, praying for all of us, the queen of mercy, pleading for grace. Merciful Lord, look upon us, your servants, who by crowning this image of the mother of your son, proclaim him as king of all creation and approach her as our queen. Give us the grace to follow them in serving you to do what love demands for the sake of our brothers and sisters, to deny ourselves and spend ourselves so as to win our neighbors for you, to be lowly on earth so as to be exalted in heaven, where you reward your faithful servants with a crown of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh 
tubuh kasalah, tapi itu pun tubuh kasalah, tapi itu pun tubuh kasalah tak lagi nak.